Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Mega Man Battle Network 2. I am your host, and I am sick. Um, I just came down with something, and uh, I'm feeling a bit better. Yesterday was pretty rough, but... Uh, oh, I forgot about that. It's like, if you talk to this guy this way, there's actually multiple of the Navi, like, underneath of each other. There's, like, one for each license. And as you battle them, they, like, disappear. It's like they're all just like under each other. It's kind of funny. I'm the S license test examiner, so I apologize if uh, if you hear my voice, if it's a bit rough. But uh, I wanted to play some Mega Man, and I want to record for you guys. So see if we could get through some of these license tests. So you're here to take the exam, are you? If you pass, I'll give you the S license. This is a survival battle test. To pass, delete ten viruses that appear in a row. Your HP does not restore. Let's go. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do... Excuse me. <coughs> I'm just going to leave my folder as is for these battles. Because some of these battles are a bit rough. Not really these ones here, but especially as we get into like the SS. And the SSS license tests. Um, they can get a little bit rough. So... No need in pandering to that. A lot of these fights, especially here, are just very easy two these first ones so I don't really see the uh, the purpose in uh, just kind of fooling around when you know we can just clean them up pretty fast I want to use some full customs there because I don't want to be taking any damage just in case um, I don't think that it's really gonna matter too much in these but you never know especially when you got like this uh, this guy right here, yeah. Good thing that we got a whole bunch of swords in our pack, though. That makes things pretty easy. Hope everybody's doing well. Today is November the 21st. Um, it's apparently Black Friday week starting today, Thursday. Which is good news for me because I am interested in getting... A couple of things I'm hoping is going to go on sale um, during Black Friday. And I've already seen a couple of things go down a little bit, but um, I'm waiting to see. I don't know if I should get them right now. I'm kind of waiting to see if uh, they go down a little bit more. <clears throat> like I've talked about a new monitor, so I can actually hear uh, audio properly when recording. As well as works as um, a new capture card, so I can record in 1080p at 60 FPS. Um, the capture card that I'd be looking at getting is the Elgato, so I could also record in. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's 4K in 62, so I can record in 4K too if I've got anything. Which I'm gonna have a monitor in 4K too, so you know we'll see. Superb! You pass the test with flying colors. There's a rest license. Give you this as a bonus too. Alright. You are now holding the SS license exam. To take the SS exam as proof of your strength and your star ID, army data is required. Army data? Well, I totally forgot about that. Um actually stick around here I think instead of just jacking out and I'm going to go I ha I kind of have a guess of where that's at I'm pretty sure it's in one of either two places first and foremost I do want to go back uh, to the first area of den area excuse me again cough coming <coughs> I do want to go back to the first area of Den area because we have a uh, at least one more gate key, so I do want to use that real quick. But I'm pretty sure, man. I thought that you could take all of these in a row. That's my mistake. I, I thought that you could just like run through these if you had everything that you needed. I guess not. So we have this one. Okay, great. This one takes us to Yum Land. Um, I'm pretty sure though that we have this one too. Great. 
And this just takes us to the dead area. Okay, okay. Um, that that last key is, or not the key, the uh, what army data? That is probably yeah. This is probably the best way to go. It's probably in the internet um, because you just get the S license, so you can unlock a couple of doors, and they want you to kind of go and explore what's available with the S license before before coming back and taking the SS license. I swear I thought that you could take them all at once, man. Unless you are supposed to get the army data uh, another way. My mistake, man. We also do need to start getting chips to perform program advances. Because that is one of the stars that we need to do as well. And we have not performed hardly any, to my knowledge. I think we got like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six out of 31. So, yeah. We need a little bit of assistance there. That is fine. Let's see if we can remember where all of these uh, doors are. We also do have the gospel code. Should we go test that out? Yeah, let's go test that out. I'm curious if the gospel code is what these cubes are. I... Not entirely sure. I don't remember if it's the gospel code that opens these cubes or if it's the or if it's the uh, defeating the V3 navvies, but I guess we'll find out. It is indeed the gospel code. Sick. So we got that from the jobs. I'm pretty sure that this is an HP memory. Nope, it's a bug frag. That's no longer really useful, but it can be useful if we need to do the chip. It's useful if we need to do the chip dupe again, so that's something towards the end of the game so as appropriate we can do that so many virus battles man we're never gonna get to where we need to be going i swear if i run it we're halfway there whoa living on suck my ass i don't know where this i don't know where this gospel code is i'm pretty sure it's the entire opposite way Unless it's in one of those portals right there. All right, while we're here, we can try to get those aura chips too, because we do need those for one of the chips too. So we have to have all four aura chips to be able to trade for it. Remember that? I think it was the girl at the airport. <laughs> Give me that. Holy panel. Holy sham. Oh, hey, I got it. Not bad. Did I just go the... Oh my God. I think I just went the wrong way. I was supposed to be going to the portal. Oh, wait, that is the portal up here. Maybe it's... The, is there a portal down here? What? Oh, there's another one. Well, if this doesn't give me the chip, I don't know what will. Nice! And it's the R's. Ugh. Here's the gospel code. Great. Let's see what the hell this is. So this is good because we can start unlocking all of those. I don't care, man. I don't care. I really don't care. Oh, God. Nice. Okay, so we've already got two aura chips already. That's pretty good. Now we just need the other two, the uh, Alec and the Wood. Uh, bro, something that we've been trying to do, me and the wife, we're like, uh, she she started talking about it in particular. There's army data in here. Shoot, man, I gotta, hang on, I gotta look this up. I'll be right back. Ah, oh, right, and I'm back. And surprise, surprise, um, we did just learn, oh, did we already open the door? I didn't know that we actually opened the door yet. Hey, boy, I'm not even saying this to be mean. You should leave. You're headed into the deepest part of the net. It's pretty scary. Can't even jack out in there. Only a fool would rush in where devils fear to tread. All right, so this is the end end game area. Um, I did just look it up. Yes, you do need to go in here to get the army data. So we're going to go ahead and, I guess, take our first steps in here. So here we go. First look at the World 3 area. Cue some of the best music in the game as well. 
and we can do a couple of things here. We have, uh, so we have a couple of cubes here that we'll see that you can't even unlock without the SSS license. And we also have random encounters that hold these as enemies, the Protectos. And what'll happen um, if you strike one of these, which I don't want to right now because I don't have an undershirt. Um, if you strike one of them, or they go down to their like countdown, which is 10, um, then they'll explode. I'm pretty sure that in this one, I'm not gonna test it. I'm pretty sure that in this one, you can actually avoid them by going invisible and they cannot hurt you. The same enemies are actually in Battle Network 3 and they're a little bit different. They actually strike you through invisibility and everything too. And here's the portal that we want to be going to and this will actually take us right back to the very first area in the game right by our gate keys and we're gonna use an unlocker on this and there is army data back to the very first area of the game and you know what while we're in here I don't want to explore too much however we're gonna go talk to that guy over there and see what he's got to offer he's a net dealer and he's got some uh, some good chips that we do want to be collecting a lot of them that we do not have yet but they're also pretty expensive he also does not have any HP memories or anything. Um, so that's something that I guess, I don't know, keep in mind. So we do have to find the rest of the HP memories somewhere else. We're going to go ahead and grab some of these chips. I think that's Life 401. Yep. See what we can get from here. We got 150 standard chips. Not too bad, I'd say. And we're not going to explore anymore in here. We just wanted to go get the army data. And then we'll go back and take our license test, actually. But while we're here, I am going to come over here real quick. Because why not? We are going to need some more Zenny to go collect those last chips from uh, that dealer in there. So let's just go ahead and see if we can... Uh, Get some hefty zenny, and I'll just collect these and I'll be right back. Wow, that actually did not take long at all. I actually just got them all on like the first try. That was a pretty good run. All right, let's go ahead and jack back in. We got the army datum. So we're gonna take our second to last test real quick. And we'll go ahead and save here because if you do lose, you actually do like lose, lose. And game over, so go ahead and save before taking these tests too if you're not sure that you're gonna win. The SS License Test Examiner. You came to take the test. There are two problems. If you pass, I'll give you the SS License. Ready? For the first problem, you will perform a mission influenced by F Gospel Four Navvies. Inf what? Influenced by Gospel Four Navvies have formed a gang called the Black Navvies. There are only four members, but each one is notorious. If they are eliminated now, while they're small, they may grow into a major criminal organization if they are not eliminated. You will be the agent of the Black Navy's destruction. The members of the Black Navies are spread about. They all are black. Dude, why you gotta be so racist, man, and look very mean? One member is often spotted in the Yumland. Can you like, just refer to them as navvies, man. They're navvies too. This is problem number one. Shall I repeat? Nah, that's okay. Where did he say that there? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> there, one member is often spotted in the Yumland area. All right, so we got to go back and forth. We're going to go and do this mission real quick. And then there's the second portion, which is the uh, flipping virus battle, which in this case is going to be like a 20 virus run. Thankfully, we do have a couple of gate keys, so we can just go in here and go straight to Yumland. So this does help a little bit um, if I know where this guy's at, which I don't. Um, I'm just going to go not here. I want to go to the, the square first because it's quiet. There's nobody there and you can't find virus battles. So I want to double check if he's there or not. Serious? It was the first portal. Come on, man. Double check if he's there. If he's not, then we can go through one of those portals and check in the actual Yumland uh, net. So, let's see if he's here. I kind of doubt that he's here. I feel like he's probably in the actual net, but might as well go to the obvious place first. 
and check how we were not wasting time, which we're wasting time by, you know, not finding him. Anyway, um, you know, maybe I'll just skip to the location of where he is when I find him. That way you guys don't have to sit through virus battles. I'll see you there. All right, and so right here in Yumlin Area 2, where all these conveyors meet at the top left, here he is. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Give me all your zennies and chips if you want to live. You're one of those black navvies, aren't you? Mega Man? That's right. I'm number four of the black navvies. Are you an official or something? Where are the rest of your members? Let me tell you. Number three's in, in, in the Topia, bro. We have had this experience so many times in this game where we're just like, hey, where's the rest of the criminal organization? And they're just like, okay, I'll tell you. Like, come on, guys. Come on. Unfortunately, we won't be seeing him, because you're going to get deleted right here. <clears throat> All right. Let's just go ahead. We're going to skip the uh, the fun stuff here. And grab a Zussi. And just kill these guys real quick. Zoom. Super easy. See if we get a chip for this. Hell yeah, we do. Not bad. All right. And now we got to go to Natopia. Which I don't have the license to do that yet, I don't think. The O and B L, whatever freaking thing to get into Netopia. So I can't go that way. So we're just gonna go the freaking long route, I guess. I'll see you guys there to the next Black Navi, wherever he is. Ugh. Here's another gospel coat. So we're gonna open up this and let's see what's back here. Yeah, it's just some Zenny. All right, see you at the Navi. All right. And here he is, actually, after you take out the portal from the Netopia Square. Let's talk to him. Hey, kiddo, can you give me all your zenny? I've got money problems, see? I don't have to hurt you if you say no, babe. Um, are you number three? E How do you know my name? Are you, are you the Navi that be number four? We're number two and one. I see, so you must be our enemy, then. Number two's in the internet, but you won't be meeting him, honey. Because your life as a Navi ends here. You're a cute little thing, but I don't have any choice. I'll make sure your deletion's painless. Why are you calling me cute, man? The flip is up with you. Yup. Ah, that about sums that up. Alright, I'll see you in the internet. Here's the S license. Let's go ahead and go through here real quick. See what we get. This leads to the final internet here. I don't think that the Navi's here. To my knowledge, I don't think that he is. I'll take a quick look. Let's see. I still have the untrap on, so that's good. We do have these guys though, so we'll take advantage of this while we're here. These cannot be opened without the SS license or the SSS license, and the Navi is not here. There is somebody else here, though, but we'll come back to that later. And I'll see you guys once again back when I find the Navi. Sheesh. Okay, he's like right here. Uh, sorry, I took like an extended break. I think that this is like five hours later, but to you, it's only been a been but a been but a moment. Let's talk to this last guy. Hey, blue dude, I've heard about you. You're going around and leading all my buddies. That means you're, that's right, I'm number two. Don't think I'm just like number three or four. Me and number one in the Kodo area are better than the rest. We're especially strong. We're gonna expand the black navvies around the world into a net crime organization bigger than World 3 and Gospel. No way I'll lose to someone like you. You better be ready. Whoo! That extended break though. I am currently making some frickin' meatloaf. And, uh... Why am I jacking in here? No, 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 I don't want to jack in here. Because we can just... Because we got to go back to Denary anyway. Back to the uh, Marine Harbor to do the S license after we're done. Let's just go... Yeah, let's just go all the way back. And we're going to go... Bum, 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 there... 
Yeah, because we could just jack in at home and then go to Kodo area like that. That's fun. Uh, dude, I never finished my uh, my sentence before what I was talking about. So we're we're like my wife has been considering. She's she's actually been begging for like a flip phone instead of a smartphone because she's annoyed that like especially having a kid and stuff. She's very annoyed. Like we're we're pretty against screen time with him. Um, speaking of, he's like uh, three years old and almost two months now. Um, he just turned three like not long ago. But like screen time wise, not really. You know, let's just go here because we can jack in here and then just use the uh, the thing to go to the gate keys and stuff. The portal there. So yeah, she she's pretty like against screen time. So am I. So we kind of decided on like how we deal with him in that way like we'll still give him some like tv time and stuff especially on like the weekend when i'm off in junk we'll kind of like let him have uh some time watching tv in the mornings and stuff kind of like saturday morning cartoons um except you know we have streaming services and stuff now bro speaking of streaming services how flipping stupid is it that like we've come to this point of streaming services where they like what what was it that i just had the other day amazon prime listen to this amazon prime like you have to purchase amazon prime like it's not free right and then on top of it they have is he like over here where's this guy at on on top i'm pretty sure that he's on this road i think on top of it they have you purchase for uh, no he's not what the flip, man? For like an additional $3 a month? Like, it's an additional subscription. Amazon Prime has ads now. It has ads now. Like, what? I, I, I'm, I'm about to like leave the area, but I better go check the bottom just in case he's there. And not like back in the actual Kodo area. Well, no, this is under Kodo. So yeah, he's definitely not here. He said Kodo area. So let's go back. Let's go back. Like you have to have a subscription for a subscription now. Like, dude, I thought it was bad. Like, you know, we we're kind of going back to like TV antenna days and like cable. Having to spend money on like all that kind of crap like constantly. Bro, we're literally right back full circle. Like, what's the difference? You gotta, like, do that. Come on, man. I find that so stupid. You gotta have a subscription on top of a subscription just so you don't get ads. Freaking mind-boggling, dude. I'm so against that. But yeah, like, as far as screen time, we, like, we, like, let him watch stuff and everything. But it's just, like, we don't want to hand him junk to, like, when he's bored. You know what I'm saying? Like... Because that's why so many kids today are so attention deficit. It's because they just have a screen to occupy their mind at all given times. It's like, we definitely don't want to be doing that. So we try to be... Try to be as good as we can be. And I, I'd say that we, uh... We're pretty good. Where is this guy? What? There's no way he's in under Kodo, right? You what? Okay. I guess we're going back to under Kodo, dude. I got the, I got the, I got the sicknesses. I got the sniffles, man. My back is aching like you would not believe, though. Like, everything else is fine, but my back, sheesh. I don't know what is going on, man. Alright, so apparently this guy's not even here. Should we... Yeah, we're already unlocking all the gospel codes. Let's just go back here and unlock the gospel code real quick. Because we don't have to run into him down that dead end. Hint, hint. We can just run here. See what this is real quick. And this is... An ice stage. Okay. Ice stage is so much better in Mega Man Battle Network 3. With the, uh, the chips that you can get in that game. Good lord. I just love the, like, the chips in Battle Network 3 and 2. Like, just the chip selection is some of the best in any of the games. Like, it's flippin' brilliant. Okay, now I can't even, like... 
Uh, I guess he is down there in under Kodo, man. Unless he's here? Kodo Square? Which I don't think he is, but we're freaking here already, so we might as well check, I guess. Speaking of which, I thought that that dealer in World 3 area, I thought that he had some HP memories, but he doesn't. So I'm still missing some HP memories and stuff, man. There's no way he's over here. This is Gospel HQ area. Let's just... Okay, so we're gonna jack out Jack back in. See if we can find him again. But yeah, so the whole the whole point is like my, my wife is also in the same boat, kind of. Like she's... She's pretty disappointed as far as like... Um, uh, screen time with herself especially having a kid because she'll just find herself just opening up her phone and then just doom scrolling like freaking Instagram or something which is like horrible enough but especially when he's like around like she wants to hang out with him not doom scroll freaking Instagram and like let him watch a movie while she doom scrolls you know like that's not, that's not very memorable to a kid, you know? So we're trying to, like, figure that out, but she was, like, she suggested that she kind of wants to go back to, like, a flip phone, which I was kind of hesitant about because, like, I guess my point is, is, like, as far as a flip phone, like, that's something that, like, nobody has. So, like, you're going back in time... And there's going to be, like, there's going to be issues because the world is caught up to this point. Where is this guy? Oh, my God. He's literally in the one corner that you can't see. So, like, that's, like, an issue itself. But, like, when, when the world is up to speed and they're, like, using this technology and you decide to go back, that normally does not work. Like, old people try to do that with, like, all their old stuff like they try not to keep up with the times computers and different things and TVs and like still have black and white TVs or whatever and like after a while things get outdated and things change and things are made for like the new TV you know things change so like going back like that is not always beneficial and you're gonna like find that you can't just change something simple like that you're gonna be missing a lot of things Kind of like everybody uses GPS now instead of like maps like we used to and write down like navigations on a piece of paper, give it to people. Like things are different now. So like you're going to lose out on the GPS, like just basic things that are like everyday life stuff anymore, you know? Hello, I heard from, I heard the story from number two. I'm number one, the leader of the Black Navies. I can't believe that all my followers got deleted, but I'm not too upset about it. In fact, I'm pleased to see how talented you are. Let's conquer the net together. The Black Navvies would be unbeatable if you joined us. Of course, I'll give you a high rank. I'll never take the side of evil. Oh, that's a pity. Because it means you're standing in my way. I can't just leave dangerous things lying around. No matter how small they might be. Alright. Let's kill this guy real quick. And then... I need to go and... Uh, get this... I need to like, flip these potatoes in my air fryer real quick. And bam, there we go. I'll be right back, and then we'll go to the SSS license. Be back. And back to the SSS license. But yeah, she's pretty serious about that, about getting a flip phone instead, which, honestly, I couldn't agree more with. Because it's just like the reasons behind it and stuff, the doom scrolling and stuff that your smartphone gives you is just sucks the life out of people, man. It's pretty terrible. The other thing that she was talking about was she wanted to get, like, a, uh, a GPS to replace the GPS in the smartphone, like an actual GPS in the car, and we've lately been getting CDs, and we want to start getting, like, vinyls, and, uh, get, like, a, a record player, get, like, a nice, like, classy record player and stuff for vinyls, instead of using Spotify all the time, because, like, honestly, listen, like, the Spotify subscription is like what, like fourteen dollars for two people per month, so, something like that. Thirteen, fourteen, something like that. And like per month, like that's enough for at least like a CD. Some sometimes you could get a CD for five bucks. So like two, maybe three CDs like per month. Like you can have like a physical 
CD collection. And honestly, I miss those times. So like, I'm in total full agreement with everything that she's talking about. And that's, that's something that we're lately doing. I, I freaking love those ideas. And I love the record player because like, I'm a classy man. I'm a classy man myself. And like, I don't know. I, I, I love stuff like that. And I love like book collections and like, like it's, it's stupid, but like, bro, I love, I love, uh, plushy collections. Just like little silly collections of like, I have like some Mega Man stuff over here in junk. Speaking of which, I have things kind of set up where like one of these future episodes, I might like push the screen over to the side and I might show you like a, a webcam episode again, kind of let you get a feel for the room and stuff. Um, but like little things, just like collectibles and like Pokemon cards. Dude, I'm a freaking Pokemon card collector, man. Not like crazy, but like old Pokemon cards and like a couple of new ones. I got some nice stuff. Now for problem number two, survival battle. 20 in a row. Let's go ahead and save first because I don't think that we did. We got 157 chips. Hey, not bad, man. Let's do this 20 battle gauntlet real quick. Let's get this over with. 